Hi, this is Ryan Brown from mockquestions.com. In this video, we'll discuss five senior technical support engineer interview questions from our website. We'll go over each question and some advice on how to answer them, along with an answer example. Afterwards, if you found this video helpful, please like and share. That would mean a lot to us. Okay, let's get started. Question number one, walk me through the process you use to troubleshoot an issue. For this interview question, the interviewer is interested in the process you use and confirms that you approach issues systematically and organized. When responding to this question, you should describe the process step by step without providing too much detail, just more of an overall high level description. I try to determine the criticality of the issue, what symptoms the user is experiencing, and the last actions they took just before the issue occurred. I then develop a theory about what I believe is the cause and start working through the standard steps to resolve the issue. I document what I am doing and what results I am seeing, adjusting my approach as necessary. Once I believe the issue is resolved, I test the process or application. The last thing I do is ask the user to verify that the fix solved their problem. Finally, I close the ticket and document anything relevant so my team and I can refer to it the next time a similar situation arises. Question number two, what would you do if a user needed to access a file on a shared drive, but for some reason they are unable to? During an interview for a senior technical support engineer role, you will be presented with scenarios you may encounter on the job. The interviewer is seeking to understand how you go about diagnosing and resolving the issue. They are less interested in the actual answer and more interested in the process you use. The best way to answer this question is to walk them through the process, briefly describing each step and the results you anticipate. Be prepared for follow-up questions asking for more detail or contingencies if the original plan did not succeed. If a user contacted me stating they were unable to access a file on a shared drive, the first thing I would do would be to check if the system that is sharing the drive is turned on and connected to the network. Next, I would confirm that the user has permission to access or view the file. Finally, I would check that the user's program to access the file is working and that the file is not currently being used by someone else. One of these steps typically resolves the issue. Question number three, what is your strategy for upgrading the skills of your team? A competent engineering manager is always trying to increase the skills of their team so they can advance in their careers. Senior team members who are intimidated by this have no place in an organization. Having a strategy to accomplish this is a characteristic that hiring managers will be looking for during an interview. It would be best if you discuss the plan to develop the skills and experience for each of your team members. This strategy can include formal education, mentoring, on-the-job training, and other ways to develop their skills. I consider developing the skill set of my team members one of my key obligations as a senior technical support engineer. At the beginning of each year, I create a development plan for each employee and review it. Elements of this plan include formal education, either online or in classes, mentoring by another senior support engineer or me, assigning them challenging tasks that will increase their skills, and asking them to present a brief training to their peers on a skill they need to learn. I also seek their input on what skills they would like to develop and how they think they can do this. I monitor their progress against the plan quarterly and adjust the plan as needed. Question number four, discuss the ways you support your team when they work on daily activities or projects. A key element of managing any organization, especially those working in information technology, is supporting the team members. Assigning tasks to each member, providing the resources needed, and managing their work are all important, but you also need to be there when they need help. This may be in the form of advice, obtaining outside resources, removing impediments to their progress, or doing other things that will assist them in accomplishing their goals. It would help if you also supported their personal development and advancement within the organization. Finally, you need to be able to resolve conflicts within the organization. Interviewers will be interested in learning about your skills in this area. 
I consider supporting my team to be my number one duty. The support I provide can come in many forms. It can include answering questions they have, helping them to obtain additional resources, resolving any issues which are blocking their progress, and most importantly, resolving conflicts between them and other project stakeholders. I also make an effort to expand their experience and skills and help them advance within the organization. I treat them as though they were part of my family, wanting them to succeed, and if possible, advancing even more than I have. Question number five. In your opinion, what are some of the characteristics a technical support engineer should possess? An interviewer will ask you this type of question because you are expected to recruit, screen, hire, and onboard junior support engineers. Even though you may not formally be a manager, you will be involved in the hiring process as a senior technical support engineer, even if it's just to, to interview the candidates. Knowing about the characteristics and skills a technical support engineer should possess is vital. The best way to be prepared for this question is to carefully review the job descriptions of junior technical support engineers before going to the interview. I believe that some of the key skills a technical support engineer should possess include having a detailed knowledge of computer systems, including hardware, software, and network topology. They should have good problem-solving skills and methodologies to work through an issue to, to a resolution quickly and efficiently. They should be aware of the latest trends in information technology and how to integrate these into the organization's technical strategy. They should be attentive to details and able to concentrate when trying to solve an issue. They should enjoy working with people and have strong communication skills. They should be curious and have a passion for continuous learning. They should be flexible and adaptable and willing to work at non-traditional times. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, it'd be greatly appreciated if you could like or comment below. Thanks again, and we hope you stick around to watch more interview practice videos from us.